Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Bouncing Ball Animation using Synfig. In this tutorial, we will learn about the interface of Synfig. We will also learn to draw basic shapes and field color, add keyframes and waypoints, do a ball animation with squash effect, render the output in GIF format. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 14.04 operating system, Synfig version 1.0.2. Go to Dash Home and type Synfig. You can open Synfig by clicking on the logo. This is the interface of Synfig. The menu bar is located at the top. The standard toolbar is located below the menu bar. Here we will find some of the shortcut and handles options. This is followed by horizontal and vertical rulers. The toolbox is located on the left side of the interface. Just below the toolbox, notice there are two boxes. The upper box is in black color and the tooltip says it is the outline color. The lower box is in white color and the tooltip says it is the fill color. In the center is the canvas. This is where we will do our animation. Below the canvas is the animation panel. Here we can see the buttons that are related to animation. At the bottom left of the interface is the parameters panel. Parameters will be visible once we create an object on the canvas. Next to this is the keyframes panel. Here we will add the keyframes. On the right of this panel we can find the time track panel. Here we will be able to see the waypoints and the keyframe indications of the animation. Waypoints will be visible once we create an animation on the canvas. At the right bottom of the interface is the layers panel. Above the layers panel we can see the tool options panel and above this panel you can find canvas browser, palette editor, navigator and info panels. We can get accustomed to using all this as we go along. Now let us start with our first animation. First, we will create a background. Go to toolbox. Click on the rectangle tool. Notice the change in the tool options panel. Under the layer type, we can see many icons. Select create a region layer icon. For this demo, we will leave the other settings as it is. Now draw a rectangle covering three fourths of the canvas as demonstrated. Please note that the default fill color is white which implies that if we draw outside the canvas it will be difficult to spot the object. Notice that a layer is created in the layers panel. Since it gives it a name by default, here it says rectangle 060 region. Giving meaningful names to layers is always a good practice. It helps us to locate a particular object from among the long list of layers. You will appreciate this more when we create complicated animations. Come back to the Synfig interface. I will change this default layer name to Sky. So click on the name, type Sky and press Enter. The name of the layer is now Sky. Please note that the cursor is very sensitive. Hence, avoid clicking randomly to prevent duplication of the previous action. The parameters for the rectangle are created in the parameters panel. Locate the color parameter and double click on the value column. Immediately a dialog box appears. Change the color to blue by dragging the RGB scrollers. Now close this dialog box. Next, click on the transform tool. Then click outside the canvas to deselect the sky layer. Now again select the rectangle tool. Create another rectangle in the lower part of the canvas. Change the layer name to ground and the color to green as shown earlier. Select the transform tool and click outside the canvas to deselect the layer. Next let us draw a ball. In the toolbox, click on the circle tool. Under the layer type, create a region layer should be selected. Click on the top part of the canvas 
and draw a circle. In the Layers panel, rename the layer as Ball as shown earlier. Change the color to red. Let us now start animating the ball. Select the Transform tool. In the Animation panel, click on Turn on Animate Editing Mode icon. The red rectangle border that appears on the screen indicates that we are in animation mode. Enter 9 on the current frame box. Press enter. Next, click on the keyframes panel. Here, click on the green plus sign icon to add a new keyframe. Select the ball on the canvas. Notice a green dot in the center of the ball. Drag this green dot to move the ball to the bottom of the canvas a little above the ground as demonstrated. Use shift key to move in a straight path while dragging. Observe, waypoints are created on the time track panel. Let's go to the 11th frame. Once again, add a new keyframe as shown earlier. Move the ball a little down such as the ball touches the ground. Notice, orange and yellow dots around the ball. These are known as handles. Resize the ball as demonstrated using the orange dots in the handles to give a squashed effect. Move the time cursor to the 13th frame. Select the 9th frame on the keyframes panel. Click on duplicate icon at the bottom. Move the time cursor to the 24th frame. Select the 0th frame on the keyframes panel. Again, click on the duplicate icon at the bottom. Go to the 0th frame. Click outside the canvas to deselect the ball. Click on the play button to see the animation that we created. Now, click on the pause button. Lastly, let us save the file. Go to file and click on save. I will save in desktop. Since it gives the file a default name as you can see here, I will change this name to Bouncing Ball. Observe that the available synfig file extensions are .safz, .saf, .sfg. I will select .safz format. Click on Save. Let us now render the animation. Go to File and click on Render. Render Settings dialog box opens up. Give a suitable file name as per your preference with .gif extension. Click on choose button to select the location to save. I will choose desktop and then click on OK. Click on target drop down menu and select magic plus plus. Increase the quality to maximum that is 9 by clicking on the plus sign. This value should never be below 3. Leave the image settings as it is. Click on the time tab. Here, the frame rate should be 24 fps. This will give a smooth animation without jerks. Change the end time to 24 since our animation ends at the 24th second. Press enter. Lastly, click on the render button at the bottom. It may take a few seconds to render the output. Now, let me go to the desktop which is where I saved my .gif file. We can play the animation using Firefox or any web browser. Please note, you do not need internet connection to play this animation. With this, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned about the interface of Synfig. We also learned to draw basic shapes and fill color, add keyframes and waypoints, do a ball animation with squashed effect. Render the output in GIF format. Here is an assignment for you. Create a ball animation in a slanting path. Your completed assignment should look like this. This video summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from our team will answer them.
The spoken tutorial forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use this discussion as instructional material. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Aarti along with the Spoken Tutorial Animation Team from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.